With that being said, it is now 6 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and call this meeting of the Zoning Board of Adjustment to order. Uh, we'll go ahead and move to item number two, remarks from visitors. Did we have any remarks? No, sir. Okay. Moving to item number three, we're going to conduct a public hearing for the purpose of receiving public comment and testimony regarding a variance application submitted by Lisa Vanette for the property located at 1120 Nolan Street. The variance application requests a variance from the 25 feet front setback requirements and 20 feet side street side setback requirements as prescribed in Article 5 R1A high density single dwelling unit 7,000 square foot lot residential district for the construction of a single family home 15 feet setback from the front property line and 15 feet setback from the Lee Street side property line a 10 foot front setback and five feet side street setback encroachment. The property affected is legally described as Camp IM Block 37, Lot 5. So we will open the public hearing at 6.01. And uh, is Lisa uh, here today? You are Lisa, okay. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, Zoning Board of Adjustment, so just to briefly summarize the application, as you mentioned, Ms. Veneta is, is uh, applying to, to construct a single-family home. The zoning ordinance, um, or the zoning district for the area is R1A, which requires any home to be built 25 feet set back from the front property line. And since this property is on a corner, it's also required to be 20 feet set back from the street side property line, which is Lee Street uh, there. Um, in your application or in your packet, uh, at the very end of the application, there's an exhibit that shows you those property corners, and it shows you um, the required setback line versus what's proposed. Um, so essentially, the, the 15 foot that's proposed in the front and the 15 foot on the side results in a 5 foot encroachment, and then on the front, it's a 10 foot encroachment. Um, the area is, uh, or the block is, is fairly vacant. And so it really wouldn't have an impact on any envelope of the street. Um, as with other areas of town, the, the street right-of-ways are really wide. Um, and so even if you get a little closer to the property line, the home is still significantly this uh, far distance from, from the street. Um, and so again, Ms. Veneta is here if you all have any questions on, on anything. I'm assuming you sent out notices. We did. Um, let me actually tell you. Uh, it was well over 40 letters, I remember that. Um, we also placed a sign on the property um, and an ad in the Navasota Examiner as well. Did you have any responses? I received one phone call uh, from a, a neighboring property owner. He left me a voicemail. Uh, I called him back, left him a voicemail with just brief information, and then I didn't hear anything back. So. Um, I didn't get any. I didn't get any comments, whether in favor or opposed. It was just a question about what was going on. I have a question. Um, what kind of structure is it going to be? What's oh, okay? Um, the, I guess the question I have. I know we don't deal with. I mean. Some of those things go to planning and zoning. We don't have to deal with the, the drainage and any of that. But is there going to be a garage or a carport? No, there will be a carport. Okay. So we won't be, this won't be brought back to us for a variance to, for a carport or anything like that. I was wondering about the setback. So the so the the, the carport. She's actually going to construct it on the rear of the home, okay. um, on the Lee Street side. Um, so it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be um, it wouldn't be an issue with the setbacks. Okay, so it'll be within the. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I see you're trying to save some of those trees. Yes, 
Right. Blame me. Okay. As hot as it's been, I sure hope there's a wind blowing. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I talked with the fire chief and he didn't see any issues with it. My only concern was if there was going to be a request for a, 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 a carport later or something like that that would might affect the rear side back or something. Mm -hmm. And y'all answered that question. So. Well, I have another question. Um, fairly safe to assume you are building this house to occupy it yourself. It's yes. going to be your primary residence? Yes, sir. Okay. Getting out of Houston. <laughs> do we have any other questions? I do not. Mm -hmm. All right, then I think we should just go ahead and close the public hearing at six oh seven. And with that, we move to item number four, discussion and possible action on order number 5-2022 for approving a variance application submitted by Lisa Veneta. Mr. Chairman, I move we approve action, or action on order number 5-2022, approving the variance application submitted by Lisa Veneta for the property located at 1120 Nolan Street. I second it. Motion being seconded. Uh, all in favor. All in favor. Say aye. 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 Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you on a regular basis. <laughs> when, you, when you walk by, stop. Oh, okay. I will. You'll be Got sorry. anything stronger? You'll be sorry you said that. <laughs> You'll take that back. <laughs> then I'll stop. <laughs> All right, last item up for business, consideration of possible action on approval of the June 15th, 2022 meeting minutes as presented. I'm going to go ahead and move that we approve the meeting minutes. Second. And all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Megan, you seconded that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... We will adjourn the meeting at 6.08 p.m. <laughs>